Some things have to be seen to be believed, as anyone will tell you who's seen the flying de Pauls practicing for their celebrated tumbling act. In Wellington's botanical gardens, they work out their routine. girls know their aerobatics. The Flying De Pauls are tops in tumbling and they certainly earn the name. When the hydroelectric scheme of Kaitawa is completed, the waters of Waikaremoana will flow down through these pipes to drive the turbines and generators in the powerhouse below. Nearby, an engineering shop is transforming sheets of metal into the huge sections of piping that will carry the water from the lake to the powerhouse. Rolled into shape and welded together, the pipe sections are seven feet in diameter and 60 feet long. When the welding job is finished, the section is ready for transport to the powerhouse. This is a tricky job. It calls for strength and skill and patience. That pipe section weighs 18 and a half tons. It's loaded onto a trailer specially built for the job and the hauling is done by a bulldozer. It means a good deal to negotiate a corner successfully in this rugged country. If the pipe slipped over the cliffside, it could easily delay the relief of the North Island power shortage by some weeks. With the pipe section in position, yet another step is made towards ending the power shortage. The task of completely harnessing the waters of Lake Waikaremoana is well on the way, and work on the Kaitawa part of the scheme is almost finished. The war delayed construction at Kaitawa, which has been going on for four years, but within three months it will be operating and producing 32,000 kilowatts. Here, the present base of 75 Squadron, RNZAF pilots are being instructed in the performance of the famous Mosquito Bomber. This much commended aircraft will soon be familiar in New Zealand. The RNZAF has 80 mosquitoes on order from England and the first group are already at Ohakia. Pilots are having conversion courses and the ground crews work on the aircraft's laminated wood fuselage and twin Rolls-Royce Merlin engines. Daily inspection and maintenance is carried out with wartime efficiency. The pilots of 75 Squadron all have notable war records, but even the most experienced pilot must do a set number of hours each month in the familiar link trainer. Not only the Air Force, but all commercial airlines insist on regular link training. The crab traces out a chartered course of every manoeuvre in the link as the trainee follows orders from his instructor. This work is essential for training in blind flying and the use of radio-controlled landing systems. Putting theory into practice is the next job, the course at Ohakia lasts six weeks and the pilots must put in 50 hours flying time 
circuits and landings, cross-country and formation flying. This is designed to prepare pilots for ferrying the mosquitoes out from England. Three squadrons will be drawn from the 80 mosquitoes due in New Zealand this year, and the 75 squadron pilots will ferry them to Ohakia. Back in class, the pilots are lectured on the route from England by squadron leader Watson, the CO of 75 Squadron. When their conversion course is over, they'll be flown to England to do the job. Ferrying will be routine work. The Mosquito is very dependable and has a range of 1,500 miles. Its four wing tanks hold a total of 400 gallons of high octane fuel. After final check over, one of the squadron pilots is going up to test his aircraft in low flying and aerobatics. In the event of an engine failure, one prop can be feathered and the mosquito will still maintain height and will even climb. Down over Foxton Beach at 30 feet, the mosquito has a top speed of well over 400 miles an hour and cruises at over 300. Aerobatics teach a pilot how to handle his aircraft in any attitude. The barrel roll is a standard maneuver. The approach is made at about 140 miles per hour and the touchdown at 100. Back at Ohakia, as an all-purpose aircraft, the Mosquito is still in world class. 75 Squadron will carry on its great war record by becoming the first bomber squadron in New Zealand's new defence forces. Yeah.